Before watching this video, make sure to select the highest resolution your bandwidth and monitor will support. This video will show you how to connect RS Logic's Emulate 5000 to Easy PLC's machine simulator using the OPC driver. First, in RS Logic's 5000, you will need to set up a memory location to handle the inputs. You cannot write directly to the uh, inputs in the RACS I.O. module because that value will be overridden in the next scan cycle. We can read from the 5000's outputs, but it's just as easy to read from another memory location. You, you can see here that I have simulator output and simulator input variables as dNs, and then I alias them at the bit levels, and these will be the values I use in the OPC driver. I also have a real value, the camera value, that's uh, for the analog outputs in the OPC driver. Okay, you need your OPC server name, that's the standard name. Set your topic to uh, what you set up in RS Links. Set your poll rates for the analog and digital. Uh, digital, you can go to one millisecond if you have a fast computer. No real need. 10 to 20 is usually fine. The analog pull rate, if you have a whole lot of them, you might want to increase that. 20 is fine for what we need here. So we have to add all our output tags to the PLC outputs, which is the OPC digital input. The thing to remember is that OPC output writes to the OPC connected program. In our case, that's the RS Logic 5000 CPU. So it's going to write to the 5000 CPU inputs. The OPC input reads from the 5000 CPU outputs. Just add them all. You can just double click, copy, paste, and do that for all your outputs. And then do the same thing for the PLC inputs. And add the uh, analog the camera value. Okay, we're going to also need to uh, connect the inputs and outputs between the machine simulator and the OPC driver. That's uh, done by creating a new sequence script. Accept. I've already got it ready. And basically, we take the uh, there's uh, 13 inputs, six outputs. So create a loop. If it's less than six, we want to connect the outputs of the OPC to the machine simulator inputs. So output zero. So we're writing the output zero to the uh, input from one, which is the machine simulator. And then uh, we also, at the same time, for all of them between 0 and uh, 12, we want to uh, write the output 1, which is the machine simulator output, and we're going to write it the value from the input of 0, which is the OPC driver. And then we also want to do the analog output, which is uh, analog output of the OPC driver is read from the input of the machine analog uh, input. And for the virtual PLC CPU, we don't want the fastest. That's just going to waste bandwidth or CPU uh, cycles. So just limit it to one millisecond. That's all we're going to be scanning at the most anyways. Now compile and send. Launch the virtual CPU. Put it in the run mode. Oh, you can see it didn't actually connect. Let's stop. Let's just run RS Lynx here to see what's going on. 
active topics. Okay. So if we just close the CPU, run it again. Check the rack again. There we go, we got our 13 inputs, 6 outputs, and an analog value. Set it to run mode, you see it's running about 1 millisecond. And now we no longer need Easy PLC up and running. And now everything's up and running here. Let's move things around so we can see what's going on. Monitor the tags. Okay. Um, you can see here in our rack, I don't even have an input output module because, like I said, I just use the variables. It's the easy way to do it. Okay, so let's download our code. Go online, oh, into run mode. Okay. Turn the machine on. The yellow light means the switch on the HMI is not turned on. So both have to be on. It's just me playing around, learning the HMI. I can clear the line, shut off the horn with the Q button. Okay, turn the line back on. Another box 
station there on that line. Make the siren go. Cleared the line, and we're back to a good running machine, so let's speed her back up to fall. That's how you connect everything together.